Bethany makes Joel Embiid doubtful for 70s reserve in Game 1 vs. Nets. Philadelphia Joel Embiid could start the postseason on the bench. Embiid, the Philadelphia 70s reserve All-Star Center, is doubtful to play Saturday in Game 1 of the first round playoff series against the Brooklyn Nets because of tendonitis in his left knee that cost in most of the final months of the season if I can't go, it means it's pretty painful, NBA said Friday. NBA noted he only feels his comfort jumping, moving or landing. In other words, it hurts to play basketball. NBA will make the call if he can suit up Saturday afternoon at the Wells Fargo Center. It's my decision because I'm the one feeling the pain and it's my body, he said. NBA who averages 27.5 points and 11.1 rebounds, has been hurt since the All-Star break, and an MRI in February revealed no structural damage. He has physical therapy, ice and rest to alleviate the tendonitis but not much, has changed. The sisters, 51, to 31, can certainly afford to rest and be for another game or two. Yes, the Nets are a pesky number 6 seed in the East, but the Sixers vote perhaps the best starting five in the East with Envious, All-Star Ben Simmons, Jimmy Butler, J.J. Reddick and Tobias Harris. Harris and Butler were acquired this season by first year general manager Elton Brand with the Sixers in a win-now mode. Coach Brett Brown hasn't backed down from his preseason vote that the Sixers could reach the NBA Finals, and Brand said this week the Sixers need to at least get past the second round. We have the best team I've ever coached, Brown said. Without or without Envious, the Sixers are a favorite to this past the net. Envious had a broken orbital bone and missed the first two games of last season's first round series against Miami, and the Sixers still winning five. Beyond that, it gets sticky for the Sixers. Envious missed 14 of the final 24 games of the regular season and played just 64 this season. Even if he plays Saturday, He's clearly in pain and his injury history offers no assurances his body can hold up over two grueling months and the possible 28 games needed to win a title. It's about the pain in my knee, he said. I've just got to keep working through it. The Sixers roared into the postseason on a 16th Tyson game winning three a year ago and took game one against the Heat, then lost to Boston in the East semi. They went four to sit down the stretch this season only heightening to his annoyance level. Brown has been weary discussing and by injury and twice this week shut down repeated attempts at questions on the center's status. Please refer to your injury, she can. I'm happy to talk about who, he said. There's also this in a postseason full of gamesmanship. Would anyone truly be surprised if NBA's walk out to a rocking ovation when starting lineups are introduced? Here's what else to know for next 76 Earth. Game 1, backup plan Jonah Golden also has a sore left knee, leaving the Sixers with Golden Marginovic, Brett Monroe and Amir Johnson as options if NBA's have been played. Simmons and Bruce Lines Angelo Russell were both first-time All-Stars this season, and after Simmons was Rookie of the Year in 2017, to 18, Russell hopes to pick up some hardware soon as a candidate for the most improved player awards. Simmons is speedy but not much of a shooter, while Russell does most of his damage from the perimeter. But they are quite similar in one way, they were teammates at Montverde Academy in Florida from 2012 to 14. Russell has shot 43.4% and is averaging 21.1 points for the net. It's crazy, the irony, Russell said. I think it's meant to be. For us to get in the playoffs and match up, May the best man win. Season series tied, 2-2, two, to two, but with a catch. The sisters only played one of those games with their current starting lineup. NBA scored 39 points and the Sixers raced to a 20, hyphen point lead in the win late, last month. Butler hit a 3 with 0.4 seconds left to steal a 127, to 125 win in November. Former Sixers Dario Saric, Robert Covington and Marco Fulta all started in the first game of the season series. We give ourselves a chance at the end of the game every time against them and we beat them as well, Russell said. We just have to go into the playoffs as prepared as we can and let the results end up where they are. Welcome back.
the Nets are set for their first postseason appearance in 2015, were that seemed unlikely when they were 8 to 18 in December. But they went 34 to 22 from there for their first winning record since going 44 to 38 in 2013 to 14. Nothing do you see Nets was process? Sure, the Nets were bad, with three straight seasons of win totals in the 20s, but there was no happy nickname in Brooklyn for their rebuild. General Manager Sean Marks took over in February 2016 a franchise that had no first round pick none. In 2014, 2016 and 2018 because of an ill-fated trade with Boston under a previous regime. But Mark shrewdly hired Atkinson, traded for Russell and signed free agents Spencer Dinwiddie, Joe Harris and F. Davis. Mark has cleaned up Bruce Line's salary cap mess and can chase the max free agent this summer. The Nets also have two first round draft picks in 2019. No matter the outcome against the Sixers, the future is suddenly bright in Brooklyn. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.